the narcissist has a dirty little secret. Something that they hide from everyone. Something that they hope no one will notice. The narcissist pretends to be confident. They act like they've got everything figured out. They act like they believe in their abilities or qualities. When in reality, it's all fake. It's all a lie. The truth is the narcissist doesn't even exist. It's a fabrication. They're just an invention or a concoction of various different people. You've only got to look at the narcissist after they've left you and compare it to who they were before they met you to realize this. They are completely different people to how they used to be. When they met you, they stole your identity. They stole your personality. Which is why when you see them after they've left you, they then dress differently and like completely different music. They have completely different interests. They've changed everything about themselves overnight. In some cases, they may become more like you, or they may become more like a celebrity that you like, or someone else that you admire. It's like you have unknowingly concocted this character that looks like it came out of a lab and then it escapes and starts using the character that you have created to attract other people. But by using something that you have created, it seems that all they're going to attract is other people like you. People who like the same things that you do. People who are attracted to the same things that you like. It's really insane. But this is exactly what these narcissists are doing. This is their dirty little secret. Just remember how they were when you first met them. Remember their character and personality. Maybe they were shy or quiet. Maybe they liked classical music. But suddenly, after meeting you, now they're acting really confident and loud. Now they're into hip hop music and then meeting other people who are into that. When really, it's not something they're really interested in. They just knew that you liked it. And they thought that you looked cool. Or they thought it made you attract a lot of attention. So now they're trying it on for size. They want to see if it looks good on them. They want to see if they can replicate the amount of attention that you are getting. Because that's all these narcissists really care about. They only care about what exists on the surface. What people see. 
and they see it as though if who they are isn't getting a lot of attention, then they need to change. They need to be something else. They probably met you because you were popular. You would get a lot of attention. You had social proof. And they wanted a piece of the pie. They wanted people to look up to them. They wanted people to be attracted to them. But they didn't see themselves as something that was desirable or attractive. And before they met you, they probably weren't getting much attention. And that is why they stole your identity. That is why they stole your personality. It's not so much that they want to be you. It's more that they want what you're getting. They want the attention. They want the admiration. They want to feel like they're worth something. And they know they're not going to get it by being authentic. They know they're not cut out to be anything great. Which is why they have to steal a part of you. They have to take your dress sense. Your likes and interests. Or they will develop an obsession with a person that you like or admire. They will try to become more like them. Because these narcissists have no identity of their own. They don't know who they are. They don't know where they came from. They're just existing. They are whatever they think you want them to be. Whatever they think will get them the most attention. But underneath that, there's nothing even there. It's just an empty void. A mannequin wearing a wig or makeup. A beautiful facade. And as long as you're willing to entertain that it exists. They will stick around. But you have to live a lie. You cannot exist in reality while you are around these narcissists. They cannot exist in reality. Because they're fake. They're just a concoction of different people. And you're never going to get to know them because there is nothing to know. Underneath the facade, there's nothing but a void. There's nothing with any real meaning or purpose. It doesn't even exist. And if they had never met you, you wouldn't even be seeing what you're seeing now. But when they walk away, you feel like you're missing something. You feel like you're losing a part of you. Because they did steal a part of you. They stole your identity. They stole your personality. And you can feel it when someone does that to you. It's like you're being raped of everything good you possess in your life. You just want to hold on to them. You just want to pull them back. 
because no one wants to lose a part of themselves. We all want to feel whole and complete. But you have to see this a different way. Instead of seeing it as though they've taken a part of you that you can never get back. You have to recognize that you can rebuild. You have to recognize that because whatever they took from you was real and authentic. It's something that you can always create again. It's something that you can always regenerate. Because you have the system. You have the foundation and structure that was required to be who you are today. Which is something that they will never find. They will continue going from person to person, taking parts of them that they like, things that they think will make them feel desirable or attractive to other people, but they will never feel whole or complete. And they will only be using what you created to attract another you. Or at least someone who they think is like you. Narcissists are completely delusional people. They are detached from reality. They see people very differently than we do. So in their minds, we are not one of a kind. We are replaceable. Because nothing really has any deep meaning or purpose to a narcissist. Nothing has any sentimental value. They just exist. They just float around the earth like a ghost of the victims that they have destroyed. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk where you can read my blog posts book coaching sessions and join our support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.